Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and this is Board Game Inquisition, where we're here to give you insights and information about the board games you might just want to have in your own collection. So welcome to this Kickstarter preview for Factory 42, a game which goes on Kickstarter on the 10th of October 2020 at 2020 CET. Thing one, what's this game all about? In Factory 42, you're set up as a team leader while in a factory. And your job is to meet government production goals through manipulating your workers and I'm kind of dealing with bureaucracy too. Um, I think this theme is rather brilliant because it's a worker placement game about actual worker placement. Um, and if anything, it probably hits a little too close to home, maybe for my liking. Um, but the theme is a strong one and it's carried very well throughout the game as you place your workers out into the factory, you know, part of the cog machine, um, placing everything together. Yeah, it all fits together nicely. Now, these government goals you have to complete at the end of each round are cooperative, which I also find quite interesting. Um, and it really fits with this factory setting where we're working together to achieve certain quotas. But of course, there can only be one winner. So, of course, you have to look out for yourself, too just like real life, you know, a little spooky. Um, overall though, I really, really love this theme. Um, I think it's so unique, it's so different and interesting, and it's one that you can take both quite seriously um, if you wanted to, or indeed with a good sense of humor, like the game itself seems to have done. It's definitely got a little bit of a kind of communist, kind of Russian-y vibes going on. Um, I don't know, you'll have to check that out for yourselves. Now, similar games to this, well, I can't help but be reminded of a bunch of other worker placement games because, you know, that's what it is at its core. Maybe something like Pillars of the Earth. But Factory 42 has enough twists and turns here to make it stand out from the crowd. Thing two, mechanics. So Factory 42 is clearly a worker placement game as you literally place your workers out on the factory floor, giving them different jobs to do to help you further along your acquisition of goods to to hand in for your government quota. Um, now, there are a number of different ways to acquire goods throughout the game. However, they go through the cube tower, meaning you don't always get what you hoped you'd get. And the tower is unusual in the fact that it holds three different sizes of cubes as well. So that's kind of unusual, but um, I think it adds a little bit of whimsy and a bit of fun to the game as well. Um, now, the other important feature is that, yes, there are all these worker placement spots on the board, but they are also numbered and they resolve numerically, meaning it's really, really important to plan your turn accordingly or things may not turn out as planned. Now, the fact that the government goals are cooperative, I think is a really, really interesting thought. Um, and I like the fact that, you know, our group decided to kind of band together with you do this one and I'll do this one. So there was no negative points for anybody and we could all just focus on getting the best victory points we could. However, don't let that fool you. This game is rather vicious um, and there are lots of ways to interact with each other um, and to be mean. You can take other people's carts full of goods to your player board instead of theirs. You can lock people out of particular spots so that they can't turn their victory points, well, their awards into victory points. Um, there's a lot going on here. It's definitely a very interactive game. And if you enjoy something cutthroat, well then you should, you know, this is definitely up your alley. Um, overall, I think this game works actually really, really well together. Now, some spots are used more or less depending on certain player counts. Um, but overall, I think this puzzle of doing everything in the right order is a really interesting one. Thing three on the table. While I can't be certain just how vital the cube tower is to gameplay, I can admit, however, that it looks very impressive when set up at the table. It's definitely an eye catcher. And who doesn't love a bit of drama that a cube tower brings? Um, now, the setup for this is straightforward, but be warned, you will be dealing with a large amount of varying sized cubes. And while it's not huge on the table, it does require a decent amount of space to play. For two of us, it takes about 80 minutes to get through this. And the rule book, while still in production, um, is shaping up really, really good so far. Um, replayability wise, well, there are cards that change every time you play, like event cards and such. Um, there is also an advanced player mode, which I feel is the mode you should always be playing with. It's more, more robust, has more cards and more variability. Thing four, how does this game look and feel? 
Well, I'm dealing with an unfinalized prototype, so I can't really speak to the aesthetics as much. However, I will talk about some of the 3D pieces. Um, so firstly, there are little rail cars that you use to transport your cubes from the game board to the player board. Um, and I think these are really, really cute and really kind of satisfying to play with as you empty your cubes out and fill them up. Um, I like it. It was just a, a nice touch and something tactile in a Euro game is kind of unusual. Um, secondly, of course, there is the cube tower. Um, and I think it does add a little bit of kind of whimsy and fun to the game because Otherwise, this theme could have been kind of dark, um, and I definitely think this brightens it up a bit. Thing five, is this game actually any good? Well, Factory 42 is certainly unique. I love the fact that it combined worker placement with actual workers and workers in a factory. And there's something very funny, but also quite serious and tragic about that combination. Um, but it's one I really, really enjoyed. My favourite part of the game, however, is the running of the factory, per se, as you start activating your different spots based on the numbers. And you're sitting there hoping that you've worked everything out to the best of your ability and then bemoaning your entire turn when you're short by one cube or it just didn't work out how you had hoped. But really, this game is about economy and it's about getting as much done for as little as possible, right? Um, and I think that's what's really, really fun about it. Now, I've only played this at two players, um, and for us, the board felt a little big at two. There wasn't really competition for spots. And this is a game that encourages you to be cutthroat. Um, there are a myriad of ways to interfere with each other's going-ons. And that's not the type of play we would normally engage in. We're quite happy to let each other kind of do our own thing in Euro games. But I think if you enjoy worker placement and you like that feeling of, well, I've pipped you to this spot, then I think you'll really, really like this. As a whole, though, I think this game will shine with more players. Um, so you have more people to take up all the different spots, activate the different abilities, because there is a ton of really fun and exciting stuff to be had here. And if you like a game that's a little bit cutthroat, um, that allows you to kind of snipe at your friends, um, then this is a fantastically interactive Euro game. And God knows, we definitely need more of those. Do I think you should have Factory 42 in your collection? Well, if you're looking for a really unusual interactive Euro game where you focus on your own moves as much as those of your opponent, well, this is a game you want to be looking at. You've been watching Board Game Inquisition. Why not like or subscribe to the channel so you can get updates about my future videos? Or if you've got any comments or queries you'd like to make about Factory 42, why not check them off in the comment box below? And until next time, stay tuned for more short and informative board game reviews.